Hello students and welcome back to our class. In our last few videos, we've discussed chapter 1, the self from various perspectives. So we've discussed philosophical perspective, sociological perspective, psychological perspective, and the differences between Eastern and Western thoughts. So for today, we will start our discussion of chapter 2, Unpacking the Self. And we will begin with lesson 1, the physical self. O diba? New chapter, new YouTube intro. At bago nyo patanungin kung sino yung nasa video, ako yun, okay? Mga one year ago. <laughs> anyway, let's start with our discussion. You know the drill. Let's start with our learning outcomes. Una, to understand the stages of life and explain the physical changes that occur during each stage. Pangalawa, to identify the contributions of genetic and environmental factors on physical development of the self, describe the factors that affect body image, examine the impact of culture on body image and self, and lastly, develop a positive body image. For lesson one, we have four topics. And in this video, we will discuss the first two. And on your end, first we have stages of lifespan. Then we will discuss factors affecting physical growth and development. And in our next video, we will discuss body image and concept of beauty. Let's start with different stages of lifespan. Pero before yon, simulan natin with physical self. Siyempre, define naman muna natin yung physical self para... On the same ground tayo, we're talking about the same thing. Ano ba yung physical self? When we say physical self, it refers to the body. Basically, we're talking about the body. It includes basic parts such as head, neck, arms, and legs. Okay? And made up of other organs. Siyempre, yung mga organs na hindi natin nakikita is also part of our physical self. Yung brain, the heart, lungs, stomach, intestines, and muscles. So, very basic. At yung mga organs na to, they work together to perform different functions. Such as breathing, yung paghinga natin, walking, and dancing. So, lahat sila plays an important role in our everyday life. So, sabi natin, physical self is about the body. At yung body at yung ability niya to perform its function nag-change throughout the years. Okay? In general, yung body natin performs its function least well during infancy and old age. Yung dalawang dulo. Okay? Nung baby tayo, hindi pa masyadong nag-function ng well yung katawan natin. Okay? At gradually, when we grow old, nagde-decrease din yung ability ng body natin to function well. So, ayan. Physical efficiency, physical efficiency generally peaks in early adulthood and declines into middle age. So, yung age natin ngayon, medyo nandun tayo sa peak kung saan yung body natin can function well. Wala pang masyadong nararamdaman ng sakit. Lalo siguro kayo, pero kami medyo nagsisimula na ang mga sakit sa kasukasuhan, di ba? Pero around middle age, yung peak ng, uh, around middle age, medyo bumababa na. Okay, lumalampas na dun sa peak of the body's ability to perform its function. From our physical development and growth during childhood continues at a slow rate compared to the rapid rate of growth in babyhood. Ma'am, pinaglolo ko mo kami. Ano yung babyhood? Meron talagang term na babyhood. According to Elizabeth Horlock, okay? Kung saan, later i-discuss natin yon. kung saan hinati niya yung lifespan into 10 stages. At kasama doon yung babyhood. Anong part ba yung babyhood? This is around 2 weeks of our life hanggang second year. Okay? Doon sa panahon na to, kung makapansin nyo, mabilis yung changes, mabilis yung growth na nangyayari sa physical body natin. 
Sabi din dito, one of the most crucial stage of development is the adolescent stage. Sabi, sabi nung kumakin ta, adolescence didn't make sense. Bakit? Kasi each individual goes through a succession of development stages. At ito nga yung isa sa pinaka-crucial. Bakit? We experience a lot of change, a lot of changes during the adolescent stage, during the puberty stage. Okay, ano ba yung adolescent stage? Para mas maliwanag tayo. When we say adolescence, we're talking about puberty. Dito siya nag-start during the puberty. Okay? Dito, mapapansin niyo na yung changes in your body. So, usually nagkakaroon ng period or menstruation yung mga babae, may changes sa voice sa mga lalaki. So, ito yung mga na-experience natin. This stage is characterized by rapidly physical by rapid physical changes that includes the maturation of the reproductive system. At dahil may changes sa hormones natin, in some cases, nagkakaroon tayo ng acne breakout. Siguro naranasan nyo yun, nagkakaroon tayo ng pimples. Okay, so, at dahil medyo conscious tayo with our body during this stage, medyo very crucial talaga yung adolescence. Dito, bumaba yung body image natin, yung self-esteem natin, na later on i-discuss natin in them. So, lifespan. Ano ba yung lifespan? Lifespan is the development from conception to death. Linawin ko lang, ano? Conception to death. Hindi birth. Ano yung pinagkaiba? Ibig sabihin, from the fertilization stage, kasama yung lifespan. Sino may sabi noin? According to Elizabeth B. Horlock, in her book, Developmental Psychology, A Lifespan Approach, doon niya diniscuss yung different stages ng lifespan. At dinivide niya to into 10 different stages. Ano ano yun? First, we have prenatal. Kung mapansin nyo, ang nakalagay dito, fertilization to birth. Before ka ipanganak, kasama na siya sa stages of lifespan. Sunod, yung infancy, which is birth to two weeks of life. Next, we have babyhood. Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Two weeks of life to second year. Okay, dalawang, hanggang dalawang taon. Kumapansin nyo, napakadaming changes dito. Ang bilis lumaki ng mga bata, ng mga baby. Yung ibang mga nanay or parents in general, sobrang excited, lalo na pag, ano, first baby. So, ang daming binibiling damit. Only to find out, nagagamitan lang nila yon in one to two months. And then, kailangan na uling magbago. Kasi hindi na kasha. Kasi mabilis ang uh, growth, mas matindi yung changes during this period. Okay? Next, we have early childhood, which is 2 to 6 years old, and late childhood, 6 to 10 or 12 years old. Okay? So, yun yung first five stages ng lifespan according to Elizabeth Harlock. Yung next five stages naman we have are puberty, which is 10 or 12 to 14 years old. We have adolescence, 14 to 18 years old. Early, early adulthood, 18 to 40 years old. Middle adulthood, 40 to 60 years old. And lastly, late adulthood, 60 years old to death. I don't know kung ilang taon na kayo ngayon. I'm expecting kasi mga first year students. So I think... Uh, either nasa last part na kayo ng adolescence or nasa early stage of adulthood. Okay? Our next topic is about the factors affecting physical growth and development. Ano ba yung mga nagko-contribute sa differences na to? And when we talk about factors affecting growth, merong uh, for the longest time, meron ng ongoing debate kung ano ba yung mga factors affecting physical growth and development. At yung debate na to is about the human nature. Is it nature or nurture? Ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa? So, nature versus nurture debate. On one side, we have nature. Social biologists, psychologists, and others in the natural sciences argue that behavior traits can be explained by genetics. 
Ibig sabihin, naniniwala sila na kung ano yung mga traits na meron tayo, characteristics na meron tayo, can be explained by science through genes. Okay, biology. Kumbaga, it's ingrained on us already through biology, through our genetics. On the flip side, on the other hand, meron tayong nurture or yung environment side. Sinasabi dito, by sociologists, anthropologists, and others in the social sciences, they argue naman that human behavior is learned and shaped through interaction. So, two opposing views. Yung isa, sinasabi, pinanganak na tayo with all these characteristics. So, basically, wala tayong magagawa doon. On the other hand, meron naman tayong nurture na nagsasabi na lahat nang meron tayo ngayon or lahat ng kung ano tayo ngayon is based on what we learn from the people around us. Okay? Lahat ng behavior natin is learned through interaction with people na nakakasama natin on our everyday lives. So, ano ba yung mga factors isa-isa natin? Meron tayong uh, nurture versus nature versus nurture. Okay. Simulan natin with Nature. Tama ba? Nature. <laughs> Nature, sabi nila, it's from our genes. So basically, ang focus na to is heredity. Ano yung heredity? These are biological process of transmission of traits from parents to offspring. Ano yung offspring? Ibig sabihin yung anak. Mula sa magulang, papunta sa anak. So ibig sabihin, ipapasa yung Ugali natin, behaviors, diba? characteristics natin, yung traits natin, ay papasa sa atin ng magulang natin. Yun yung concern ng heredity. Through our DNA. So, sex and other physical traits are determined by a combination daw of two. Una, you have chromosome. And next, we have genes. Paano? During fertilization or the union of two cells. The egg and the sperm cell. Yun yung sa heredity daw. Ano ba yung chromosomes? When we say chromosomes, these are thread-like tissue that carries the genes and are usually found in pairs. Meron tayong 23 pairs of chromosomes. So dahil pairs sila, tigda dalawa, meron tayong total of 46 chromosomes. Ano-ano yung klase ng chromosomes na meron tayo? Merong two types. Yung una are what we call autosomes or trait chromosomes. 22 pairs to. Okay? Yung 22 pairs na yun, they make up 44, di ba? At yun yung nag-identify or nagdidictate kung ano yung magiging characteristics or traits na meron tayo. The last, one, the last pair, or the last two chromosomes, is what we call gonosomes or sex chromosomes. Ito yung X and Y chromosome. Ito yung mag-identify kung magiging girl or boy ba yung magiging anak. So, meron tayong chromosomes, meron din tayong genes. Ano yung meron sa genes? Ito yung basic carriers of hereditary traits. Can be classified into two, dominant or the strong genes and the recessive or the weak genes. Paano natin nasabi yun? Paano, paano yun nangyayari? Hopefully, na-discuss nyo na to with your biology or biology subject during senior high school. I'm, I'm hoping. Okay? Pero, recall natin. When we say recessive, ito yung mga traits not expressed when the dominant form of the trait is present. On the other hand, yung dominant traits or dominant genes are expressed uh, express form of the trait when present. Okay, ano yung halimbawa? Halimbawa, ang dominant gene, for example, is yung brown or black hair. Pag meron ka nung gene na yun, Kahit pa sabihin mong sa nanay mo, nakuha mo is blind talaga, yung tatay mo is um, black yung hair, e eh kaso dominant yung black hair. So, ang kalalabasan, magkakaroon ka 75% yung chance na magiging black or brown yung hair mo. Kasi dominant gene yun. 
Okay. Another example is the brown eyes. Okay. Dominant siya as compared halimbawa sa green or blue eyes. Recessive trait yun. So, ibig sabihin, basta present yung dominant gene, kahit na meron kang recessive trait or recessive gene, ang, mag, ang lalabas pa rin is the dominant gene or the dominant trait. Kailan lang lalabas yung recessive trait kapag walang dominant gene. Hopefully, maliwanag siya. Okay? So, ano pa yung factors affecting? Sabi natin nung una is heredity. Yung second factor we have is the environment. Ano yung environment? Ito yung nurture part na sinasabi natin sa debate. Refers to the factors to which the individual is exposed after conception to death, which includes learning and experience. So basically, when we say environment, hindi lang environment na physical environment, ha? kasama rin dito yung social interaction natin with other people. Okay? So factors such as diet, nutrition, and disease play an important role in physical development. So yung mga kinakain natin could affect our physical growth. Pwede tayong mag, uh, magkaroon ng diseases. O kaya mag-iba yung physical body natin because of that. Siyempre, di ba, kumakain ka ng hindi nutritious, more or less may effect siya sa body mo. As compared, halimbawa, kumakain ka ng masustansyong pagkain, o kaya nag exercise ka, positive yung magiging effect niya sa yung physical growth and development. So, we have heredity, kung saan nang kuhain natin yung traits from our parents, or kahit sa kanununuan pa natin, passed on from one generation to another. And then we have the environment, kung saan we're talking about our interactions. Okay? So now, we've discussed the stages of lifespan and factors affecting physical growth and development. In our next video, we will discuss body image and concept of beauty. Bago tayo mag-proceed with our next video, or bago nyo panoorin yung next video natin, I want you to answer activity 5 muna. Okay? Defining beauty. Paano ba natin define ang beauty? Sino ba ang maganda para sa atin? Una, oh, complete the sentences below daw. Una, for me, beauty means, ano ba sa'yo ang beauty? At base, syempre, sagot, sagot mo sa number one, a beautiful person is, ano ba yung beautiful person for you? Next, I want you to answer this. I am beautiful because walang hindi magsasagot, okay? Because sometimes you have to look for positive things about yourself. You have to think that you are beautiful so that other people might think, uh, other people will think that you are beautiful. Kasi nag i yun. Pag feeling natin hindi tayo maganda, medyo na i din natin yung ganong aura. Okay? So aura lang ng aura. Okay? And lastly, I want you to list down three names, pangalan ng mga tao na para sa iyo ay maganda and explain why. When I say three names, not, not necessarily names, okay? Hindi hindi kailangan as in names. Pwede sayin mo nanay, okay? O kaya pwede na rin siguro a group. Sabihin ng Blackpink for example, so a group Tapos, identify bakit you find them beautiful. Pwedeng artista, pwedeng crush, pwedeng... Or lagay mo lang si crush kung ayaw mong sabihin kung sino. Pero kung gusto mo namang sabihin, okay din. Okay? So, answer these questions first before you proceed with our next video. Okay? So, that's the end of our first discussion or part 1 of lesson 1, Physical Sub. If you have questions, you can ask me or you can send me a private message at Facebook or send me an email at arceliaslaratereza at gmail.com. Bye class!